Catastrophe risk is one of the biggest issues facing insurance companies and in fact our whole society today. It's pretty obvious today after Katrina and some of the other major events that we could easily experience a catastrophe loss well in excess of $200 billion. We need to be able to assess the risk and we need to be able to manage it. Now, insurance companies do use tools for that purpose and they're called catastrophe models. And in fact, the first catastrophe model ever in existence was a little hurricane model that I developed back in the mid-1980s. The IBM 3480 tape subsystem with systems architecture for the 80s and beyond. In the mid-1980s, computers were just becoming accessible enough to use them for decision-making tools. It seems straightforward now, but at the time, it wasn't intuitive that you would take this scientific information, build a model around that, and then simulate the occurrences of actual hurricanes or earthquakes to come up with answers for the insurance company in terms of what kind of losses they could have, how big would they be. Now, of course, when uh, I put out the first hurricane model and it showed that the losses could be much higher than companies were anticipating, not many companies believed that. Good morning. We're live in the Weather Channel Forecast Center. It's August 24th, 1992. History in the making as Hurricane Andrew is now making landfall in South Florida. And of course, what changed the industry was Hurricane Andrew in 1992. We've had, uh, over the last hour, a lot of the roofing around the particular structure we're in getting peeled off. We've heard some more glass shattering. We had been all weekend watching this storm and running it through our models, and by 9 a.m., on uh, August 24th, we released estimates saying that we thought the storm could cause uh, insured losses in excess of $13 billion. There was a lot of disbelief that the losses could really be as high as the model was projecting. Not since 1926 has a hurricane hit Miami as ferociously as Hurricane Andrew. These were once houses and businesses, and in many cases, men and women's dreams, now nightmares of rubble and debris. Total South Florida damage will run into multiple billions. Those were the kind of numbers that were coming out of the model at the time. The industry really took off after that. The models got a lot more respect, I would say. I believe the biggest problem today is that companies are actually over-relying on the models. It's actually a pretty big task to move from where we are today to where we need to be. There is a lot that needs to get done with respect to uh, catastrophe risk management.